Hi there. In this session, we're going to start a new chapter. We'll start with the interpolation methods in MATLAB. And in this session, we'll learn how to use polyfit function to fit a polynomial to a given data set. So this function polyfit receives a data set, some values for our input or independent variable x and some values for dependent variable y and some degree for the final output polynomial and it returns back the coefficients for the nth order polynomial. So let's start with the noun polynomial. For example, we have a polynomial of the form x squared minus 3x plus 5. And we have some data points, for example, for 0, 1, and 2. For 0, that will be 5. For 1, that will be 3. And for 2, that will be 3, 2. And let's fit a quadratic polynomial to this data points in MATLAB. Okay, let's enter the data points 0, 1, 2, and y equals to 5, 3, 3. And let's call the polyfit and give it the data for x and y. And let the order of polynomial, final polynomial, will be 2, or the output polynomial will be a quadratic 1. And let's call the function. And you see that the coefficients returned by polyfit function are 1, minus 3, and 5. And if you return back to our model, behind this data is 1, minus 3, and 5. And that's exactly what we want to get. And so that works fine. Let's start a new M file and let's add some noises to our data. For example, let's assume that we have a function f of x, that's a, an anonymous function, and it returns the x squared minus 3x plus 5. And let's create some sample points uniformly distributed from, for example, minus 1 to 5. And we have the x as some uniformly distributed random numbers from x min to x max. And they are, for example, a hundred rows and one column, and that's it. If you calculate the f of x, you will have some data, and if you plot these values, let's save the program and let's run it. And I'll, oh, sorry, you must specify some marker, for example, with red colored markers, and that's it. You have some random samples of the function f. Let's add some random noises, normally distributed random noises of, for example, standard deviation of sigma and rand n with the same size as x. And what's the sigma? Let's assume that it is half. And okay, we added some random noises to this. And if you, for example, change this to be two and a half, and that will be as this and let's set back it to be half and let's fit a polynomial to this data points polyfet and it receives x y and of order 2 for example if you do this and you check for the value of p you see that it's almost 1 it's almost equal to minus three and it's almost equal to five. So despite the fact we have added some noises to our output, Polyfit is capable of finding the true model behind the data. And it's a good thing. And let's, for example, add the noise level and check for the results again. And we can find almost a polynomial very close to the original model behind the data. Okay, let's plot the polynomial 
besides the original data points okay let's create some data points which are distributed from xmin to xmax and 100 for example data points and y y are the this polynomial which are evaluated at these points so we may use the poly val function poly evaluation polynomial evaluation which receives the p the coefficients and the data points and it will give us the value of that polynomial in that in the provided data points so let's hold on and let's plot x x y y and color b and line width two for example you may specify the marker size as 14 here and you can specify the legend for example data points and fitted model or fitted polynomial and let's show the grid and let's add the x label and add the y label too and let's run the program i think we have some errors here x label is not correct this 14 is much for our example marker size i think it should be lower so you see that we fitted a polynomial to our data and if we test for the p it's almost cool to our original model and if you for example provide n equal to 1 as the degree and if you run the program you'll get this linear model which describes the quadratic data with least error possible and if you increase this for example 3 that will describe the model but adding some non needed unnecessary cubic elements however the other three terms are almost equal to the quadratic polynomial so let's go back to the quadratic model and if we'd like we can add some error margins to our fitting problem and draw some error margins some error terms beside our model and data points the polyfit returns a second output let's name it s and if we run the program the s will be a structure which contains information about the error of the model and this structure can be used in polyval if you see the help for this can be used here as the third input parameter and if we pass s to this polyval function we'll get some delta okay let's pass the s and get some delta and if you test for this delta you see that is of same size as x x this vector and this vector and these are error terms and for example if you plot this delta that describes the error amount in every data point we passed to the polynomial and we can calculate some error some prediction intervals with some confidence level for example for 95 percent confidence we can add two times delta to over yy so yy minus two times delta for example black colored and dash and uh, if we plot xx and yy plus two delta with same color and here we can say that 90 percent prediction interval if you run this that says that 90 percent of input data will lie between these two boundary lines and that's our 95 percent confidence interval and that's true you may find just one for example one outlier here and we can count these points as outliers too and 
if you count these, one, two, three, four, four out of 100 points, and it's almost 95%. And so you can provide some error information outputted from polyfit function to polyval and calculate the delta here. If you use other multipliers, for example, one or three, you can plot some sense of two sigma or six sigma of our error terms here. So we've done and we used polyfit to fit some polynomial to some given noisy data. Thank you.